What up fam? Welcome back to the garage. Tonight we'll be going over a new part to the build, so stay tuned, grab some popcorn. Let's get to it. Peace. What's going on guys, uh, it's Gio back again. I know it's been a while. Uh, I got something exciting in the mail today I want to share with you guys. Cool unboxing. Uh, can you guys guess what it is? Let's find out. Tri-States Motorsports in the house. I want to give a big shout out to MC Slick. And <coughs> Tri-State, open it up with an amazing deal on this very, very crucial part of the build. Uh, this is something that I up ended up upgrading along the build process um so yeah i'm really really excited uh yeah if you guys could comment what it is let me know all right here we go so freely fitting on the front huge snail dash 10 wall drain t4 
back. Wood cap. Removal of this oil feed hex bolt will result in severe damage to the turbocharger and will void any warranty. When installing or removing the oil feed fitting, pull the oil uh, feed hex bolt with a 916th wrench. This will keep the bolt from moving. Once again, this is 1775 precision ball bearing, dual ball, dual ball bearing Gen 2. Uh, this one is in a 96 AR. Uh, they do come in a variation. I think it's 8196, uh, 115, or 101 and 115. Um, I decided to get the 96. Um, as you guys know, this is going on uh, K series, K24, uh, built K24. As you guys know, in my MR2. So, generally speaking, because of the back pressure on the K24s, and I'm using a Sidewinder manifold <clears throat> by TSM Brace. Uh, I'll drop a little um, link in the description for a Dant manifold. It's also going to be a T4 um, with the Turbo Smart 60 um, millimeter wastegate port. Um, the the, the um, Oh gosh, what am I saying? The Slidewinder manifolds are known, uh, if you guys know in case Sears World, uh, they're known, they are known for um, assisting larger turbos in spooling characteristics because of the, of the design and the, and the shape. Um, in addition to that, uh, the way the case Sears build has creates a lot of back pressure because of the engine being so compact. Um, and because of that, the small turbochargers uh, they work, but what essentially ends up happening is that you generate more torque way down low because the turbo spins a lot, lot faster compared to a larger turbo. Now, there's a lot of myths about this. I mean, there's also going to be the factors of open T4 like this one versus divided T4, um, you know, single way skateboard on the, on the, um, on, oh my gosh on the manifold uh, versus uh, dual wastegate, whether that's a dual 40, 45, 46. So there's a lot of things that kind of get, you know, comes into play with you know, in that aspect. But in this case, um, the reason why I went with a bigger turbo, uh, you can make uh, more power like reliably and easily. And I don't have to worry about stretching out the turbo because of the fact that this is a larger turbo. Uh, this specific turbo is rated um, for about 12 to 1400 horsepower, depending on the application. Um, four cylinders, generally speaking, for, uh, fortunately, four cylinder K series, generally speaking, uh, right around that 12 to 1400 horsepower mark. Um, this is, um, this one is not a sport front wheel drive class. I know, I think they have a 6870 class and a 7285 class, um, but this one is a 7275, which I don't think this one falls in that category but it's very close but at any rate this will do the job uh, my motor is obviously off to my builder i'm getting built at dummy built i'll drop his link in the description in his ig um, i'm gonna keep it stock sleeve it is a 24 82 um, i am going with forged pistons rods uh why is it go pistons are 10 2 or 10 5 to 1 i believe uh flat top uh, the rods, I, I do have uh, the regular manly, but I'm actually thinking of swapping them out to either the boost line, wise go boost lines, or the manly uh, turbo tough. Still trying to get that sorted out, but anyways, just want to show you guys this beauty. Go one more spin. So quiet too. But anyways, next video, 
I'm going to be uh, unboxing the new manifold when it comes, and hopefully I get some pictures of uh, the, um, the motor getting built, um, you know, some pictures and like side videos of, of the progress of that. It's going to be a couple of weeks, but you know, I can't wait to get that back. But anyways, love you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.